Well, hello everyone. This is a marvellous route around the southern end of uh, the Yorkshire Dales in Wharfdale, which you can see here is just north of, of Leeds and Bradford. So we're going to start over at Eshton, but you could start anywhere on the route via Winterburn. Then we take the Way of the Roses through Hetton, Cracko, Bunsall and Apple Tree Wick, then head down into Wharfdale to Bolton Priory, spend some time there, and then back via Emsay, Skipton, and then the Leeds Liverpool Canal. It's a journey of about 30 miles. Now this is a great opportunity to explore some of the countryside and the views that you're likely to find in Wharfdale and in the southern half of the Yorkshire Dales. So we can see all the hills, the walls, that sort of countryside that you've got alongside rivers. Uh, really very, very beautiful. And I would say this is one of the sort of rides that if you're new to the whole uh, touring uh, type of uh, cycling and then this is a great place to start anywhere down here Skipton will be a fantastic place to start and in but it is the bit of urban on the whole route so you just got to be a little bit careful uh, if you're not used to towns um, there's a little bit of climbing as well but it's not difficult climbing and there's some long fast descents and uh, a little bit of off-road but if you've got 32 mil tires or more then you'd be fine so let's follow this route through now on a relive and uh, we're going to start over there in Eshton on the side and then we head back round and uh, we hit the Wharfdale River there and then round the outside down and we're going to stop here at the Lawn Oak and then down at the Priory and then we cut back across through MSA into Skipton, down through Skipton. Then when we get out the other end, it's a short hop on the roads to pick up the canal and then back to Eshton. So as you can see, 29.4 miles, quite a lot of climbing. It says 4,275, it's not really that. Anyway, so here we are leaving Eshton on our way to Winterburn. Beautiful house over on the left. And you can see that this is the sort of track that actually it's, we're going to be on road almost all the way, so uh, there are sections of this that roadies can do quite happily. Um, this is the sort of typical countryside of that southern part of the Dales, and as we come through Winterburn and sort of head on to Hetton, which is a, a pretty little village, then you get to see sort of the bleakness and the little bit more openness. Now we're still in the lowland anyway, and although it looks like there's a lot of cars here, you can hear them coming from miles away. And there are very, very few of them. Generally they're pickup trucks that the farmers are driving around in. One of the things you must expect when you're doing a ride like this is that the weather can change very, very quickly. And we've had full sunshine, snow, hail, and heavy rain and winds as well, all on the same journey. So do be uh, wear, vigilant of really what, what the weather could do. Make sure you've always got something in protection and also take plenty of water because the roads are quite stiff. So here we are getting into Hetton and Hetton's a great place to stop. You can have lunch here. Uh, there's, in fact, there's a little garden that's available for people. Uh, we're just gonna come out the other side of Hetton and we're going to head off towards Krakow and then at a junction we're going to pick up Thorpe Lane but first of all we've got to go over the railway so this is a single track railway that comes from a, a quarry further down to our left but you see the road quality is spectacular almost all the way down here but it's when we get further down and we drop down the hill then we have to head up third Thorpe Lane so here we are in Krakow and around the corner here this is a quite little village nice little pub there actually and as we head out here we're going to be turning right here as we get overtaken by another load of roadies who are going substantially faster than us now this is the way of the roses route and it's the start of the way of the roses uh, route 688 uh, which uh, is a substantial part of this northern part of the route so it'll take us right over and as you can see hardly any cars will ever pop along here on this road so it goes between the, the fields classic 
Enclosures Act scenery, but quite a lot of the houses are being, uh, barns are being redeveloped, and this was very quiet down here. You can see it's springtime, we've got daffodils that have been planted, uh, but the wind can whip across. But you can see now we're on the descent, travelling at a good old pace, and then suddenly the road quality starts to deteriorate a little bit, and we fi find we've got a bit of moss and grass in the centre. And there's often stones and other things that have been rolled across. So just watch out for that. Uh, make sure that you're just being aware of the quality of the roads. So we're going to head back up the hill now. And we're going to cross over just beyond those trees. And then we start to drop down again. And we turn right at this junction. And now it's smaller villages. villages through the farms and you can see the roads barely wide enough for a, a white Amazon delivery van so you have to be careful now we're picking up on slightly larger roads we're on our way into Thorpe now and Burnsall uh, Burnsall has got a lovely big bridge and it's a place where people often stop and I think the views around here are spectacular so here we are on the outskirts of Burnsall and now we cross over the bridge on our right loads of people will sit around there and have lunch on a hot sunny day and I think those are the cyclists that passed us earlier on they've taken a slightly different route so now we're coming out of Burnsall and we're heading into the village of Apple Tree Wick which is a beautiful little village really really lovely great views over the side onto our right and you can see Burnsall and the river slowly edges its way along. More cyclists going past, you can see how popular this route might be. And as we get into Apple Tree Wick here, you'll find lovely pub there and plenty of places to view and more cyclists coming through. This is a surprisingly steep little bit of hill here. Uh, it keeps you going, but then when you get to the top, there's a nice long coast down on the other side and we've just turned off now and we've taken Stang's Lane now Stang's Lane you will find signs on there that say road closed that's because just literally yards before the Lawned Oak uh, the side of the road has collapsed but it is actually still wide enough while whilst we were literally there looking at this uh, a guy came along in a huge Bentley and was able to drive quite confidently across so uh, it is possible but uh, we're stopping here waiting for vehicles to go past uh, it's starting to get a little bit overcast and the temperature was dropping a little bit so uh, just be aware that as we drop down and there you can see the signs definitely saying road closed this is a very quiet piece of road it's really nice down here we enjoy it, the views change all the time, more signs saying the road is closed uh, but occasionally you get people who drive up here and will just park and walk their dogs uh, there's a chunk of woodland coming up ahead that's really pretty, it was full of bluebells uh, but really I'm not sure how long the bluebells have got now that it's solid conifer but here's where they all stop and there it is saying that it's shut and just up here we're going to find the lawn oak roads getting a bit mossy we did this a couple of years back actually and it was in slightly better condition but here we are lawned oak we've just gone past it and now we're at the top of the hill and all that dog's mercury growing on the side there tons and tons of this stuff and then we descend down this really steep descent and we turn right into Bolton Priory now if you go straight ahead and miss that you've got one brutal climb up the hill opposite so definitely worth going in here you'll find toilets there's a visitor center you can buy coffee and we just pushed our bike through where the, the pedestrians were and then headed down more towards the Priory rather than the visitor center so out through the car park around this private road on the Bolton estate And then we're just going to drop down to the left 
in a minute. So take that path and a little look around. This is where the river wharf moves around, uh, meandering away through the gates. And there is the priory in front of us. So head our way through. We've got a previous visit of this from uh, Garside, uh, Gargrave. But here we are. We just stopped for lunch and now we're heading back. So we're going to come out, get onto the main road and then very quickly after this left turn we're going to turn right here. There's a car park and more toilets just there if you need them. And now we're heading back through the back of Bolton Abbey Estate. Some long climbs but we're going to work our way up the hill now. Now there was a lot of traffic coming because there was a big camping event taking place not very far away from uh, the priory down at the bottom and this farm here is used for farm experiences so that's got its own car park as well so there's a fair amount of, of traffic but it's mostly domestic cars very little of the bigger stuff uh, fascinated coming on here watching all the rabbits run away and a very bizarre fence so we're on Green Lane and uh, we're going to move on to Home Lane soon and then on the way to a village called Emsay which used to be a little tiny village but now suddenly it's been built up all over the place uh, hundreds of new houses going up at Emsay but uh, this is still quite nice up here through the farms good views over the back of Wharfdale and we climb up and through the gates and more cyclists going past and now we've got this long descent down on our way to MSA. Now as we approach MSA we've just got to be careful because although we're travelling at a hell of a rate and lick here we're suddenly going to meet up off the end of this quiet road which is single carriageway we're going to suddenly turn left and here's the new buildings that are taking place and we're going to turn left down here and suddenly you've got building traffic and then as we come out from the back of this we've got the bulk of MSA traffic down here and it can get very busy at certain times and MSA is not that far away from the edge of Skipton so we now take the main road here follow up to the outskirts of Skipton Skipton is a very pretty town and definitely recommend it you see more building work taking place here we're going to turn right now and now we're heading right into the centre of Skipton town past the castle and here's the town market square in the middle we're turning around going up the hill and then we're going to take that left turn that you can see here up there there's a school on our left I think and it's quite a bit of climb and then we pass through this housing estate and as you can see now it's absolutely chucking with rain so we work our way up this hill it's not a difficult hill but it's got a little bit slippery when we were there occasionally the rear wheel would slide away and have to stop we got to the top here and we stopped here at this bit rakeswood camp to have a look at the uh, prisoner war camp where italian prisoners were kept and they did a lot of the work in the town and it was really interesting place to stop and have a little look around though there's not much and in fact rakeswood camp is now generally a housing estate but now we follow when we cross over the a65 uh, or part of it i think that's what it was we go up over the hill and then we will have to once we get through Thorby we're going to have to cross this 65 again or cross the main road so we work our way down through the farms it's it's a bit quieter here here's the 65 we cross over that and now we're on the Leeds Liverpool Canal and we turn right towards Gargrave this is a really nice very easy bit no hazards really other than uh, losing concentration and cycling straight into the water occasionally fishermen with their fishing poles across the gravel is quite smooth to be honest even 
modern road tyres could cope with this. We got 28 mils. So work your way across. Just be aware of the pedestrians. Do use your bell on somewhere like this. Use your bell all the time to warn people that you're coming. It's a good courtesy to adopt. So underneath the bridge, and then we've got to climb up the steps after the cobbles and finish the last section on the gravel. And then we're going to get to the into the town of Gargrave and at that point once we get there there's a few gates but at the final end there's quite a push up the hill we have now got to go through that gate and it's quite steep there and we're going to just turn right here uh, more cyclists around again indicating just how popular it is as a place and now we're heading our way back to Eshton uh, the w reverse of the way we came but that's because that's where we started. Now, if you're in Gargrave and you've got a tandem, I'm sure you know JD Tandems, who are absolutely excellent, probably the best tandem company that you could ever hope to do business with. They are wonderful. So thanks to Jamie and John and Ruth. So we climb up through the Eshton Estate and this can be really pretty in the mornings. A lot of wildlife around here. Huge amount of, of, of birds and things, but we're just going to turn right around the corner up here. There we go, and back towards our campsite. So please like and subscribe. Uh, click the uh, thumbs up button down below and subscribe to our channel. We've got loads of it. I've got a couple more coming in the Yorkshire Dales, including uh, a rerun of the Swale Trail, but in the opposite direction, and a couple of warnings about other paths that we've got up there. Uh, so if you're interested in doing the Swale Trail, definitely catch up on both our uh, rides there that we've got. Here's our page. You can see a GPX on the side, so you could download that if you wanted to follow our route. Uh, it's not too difficult, but uh, if you wanted to follow that, then we'd be happy for you too. We look forward to seeing you on our next ride, and until then, have a wonderful ride. Take care. Bye for now.